the evening earth signs your general read on how your person feels about you for next week from Friday to Friday so just the overall energy for the earth signs masculine Okay, so overall for the feminines um, in the earth signs, or the feminines dealing with earth signs, but the feminines here, divine feminines are in their dear mode. This is earth energy. Heart chakra is open, a very passionate, caring. You've been sending healing love from a distance. You've probably um, released your person and are in your uh, high priestess mode with this. Um, you're very nurturing, very intuitive and listening with the ears uh, perked up as such. Um, you're protective of the, say, you know, Bambi. <laughs> and listening to, uh, in the in the forest, you know, they have to watch their, for their young, they have to watch out. So that's how I feel like with this is you're really protective of your connection with your Divine Masculine. Divine Masculines are uh, two groups here. We have one that's grounded Earth energy as a buffalo, being um, listening to the higher self. Uh, divine Great Spirit is sending them lightning bolts and thunder, lightning and thunder to get them to move, um, really trying to light up their intuition and their chakras so that they can pay attention. They are very grounded in um, energy. They are self-protective of themselves, but um, right when they want to, they can rage for full speed ahead. Currently, though, um, they're kind of uh, hermit mode almost uh, energy. All right, which is an earth, earth element of the other one would be earth element of a fox. The solar plexus chakra is open being intuitive, listening to their intuition, or trying to be very perceptive of all their senses. They're hearing, I feel like this little fox is seeing and watching everything, possibly even spying on social media, or any way they can um, see you, even if there's pictures of you somewhere. I feel like they're probably watching. Um, very human-like eyes right there that I see. Um, smelling, you know, sniffing out any... Um, lies or sniffing out any drama or trouble, anything that's going to get in the way to also protect their, that special pack or their special, you know, their deer. Listening to things around them, listening to friends' uh, opinions too much, probably, that's uh, keeping them in this questionable sly fox energy. They uh, perhaps are being told, you know, to... Uh, be more player energy, say, or, you know, their friends are giving them bad advice, basically, with this energy. So let's get to the cards. Start give us the overall energy for the earth signs. And what's going on with this connection? What's going on with this connection? the masculine we just have the tower on the bottom so <laughs> how's the feminine see the masculine
in the past yet, Spirit. All right, how's the masculine feel about the feminine? That's what flipped over for what the masculine wants. All right, we're looking at the overall is the Two of Cups, which is better than the Lover's card. Um, and you hear this in my readings, the explanation of Two of Cups versus the Lovers. Two of Cups where you're equal give and take. It's that you're nurturing them, they're nurturing you. Um, you're sending them positive energy, um, healing energy, and they're sending you healing energy, right? It's that um, calm waters, growth, you know, fond energy of one another, a completion, not a completion of each other because they're whole in themselves, but a uh, very magnetic uh, couple. Very divinely guided. This chariot wants to move forward with the spirit. The spirit is moving this chariot forward. Um, these little uh, stars here, the spirit guides pushing this divinely as it's got the lotus um, flower in it with the orb of angels in it. Moving this chariot forward. Um, I get the energy from this that spirit is going to just throw like that. Uh, Throw that masculine and feminine into that carriage and say, now's the time you need to move and you need to move now. Um, type energy on that card. All right, so equal give and take nurturing. Uh, both getting equal nourishment from the divine. This is on six of pentacles. They're trying to be grounded, um, balancing things out, listening to their intuition, um, studying the signs behind this journey and understanding this journey. Doing the inner work as well. Listening to one another telepathically. The little cardinal up here is on the branch and he's listening to the cardinal speak to him telepathically. And listening, holding on to the belief of this. He's also having strength and courage. Um, and again with the gold um, shirt here shows the solar plexus. is He's gaining strength and courage. Um, something that he... Uh, was uh, immature, no, not immature, and something he was lack, not lacking, but unable to access, maybe? Maybe it wasn't as activated before, how's that? Alright, and for some reason, um, Nine of Swords, um, covering their face, trying to like put things together, they've uh, put everything they have between one another on the table. So this has been a relation, a partnership where they've been working on this and working on this and sharing everything about themselves to one another, opening up their vulnerability, but then having to pull back perhaps and say, let's put our swords on the table and see what we got. And she's afraid to look to see if it's going to work out or if she gets the Short straw, per se. That was weird. All right. Um, so how the feminine views the masculine or feels that he's going to, what action she thinks he's going to take, evidently. These are all action cards in here. So um, Ten of Swords, this is usually the ending of um, being stabbed in the back. So many pains. Karmic's there waiting to sneak to see if he's dead. But it's in reverse. So I feel this is in the past. The past of stabbing one another. The past of the pain, which is here, right? Because all, they've taken all these swords and they've laid them on the table here. So this is done and over with. And now they're commute, uh, she feels that she's just waiting for him to, yeah, that's her. So she's waiting for him now that the swords have been placed on the table to bring in communication perhaps communication from the divine when the time is to move or 
what's the next step but this is divine communication regarding this connection and the two of them she feels she's in the queen of wands energy um, with the belief of this but also she looks very worn like it's been quite a battle to get to this point she also has the cardinal up here so uh, again it synchronizes with this card with the cardinal talking to her telepathically but she looks up like she was upset about something recently which was why they threw all their swords on the table to see where this goes next right the pulling back per se she also sees and has to wait because as a high priestess she knows she uh she's not going to chase any longer it's time for to put the swords on the table and await him to come to her with communication so as a knight of wands on the hawk of truth with his wand coming in and while the mask is down not wanting to be in truth he he's coming forward um and the hawk will with his is delivering truth so whether he because it's a true connection thank you spirit so whether he ends up in his truth or not i don't know but it's a true connection so and you have the it's the knight and the queen and she feels like um he is loyal that he has the same understanding and belief system as she does solid of this connection the science behind this connection how he sees her or what he's thinking about regarding the connection with her king of swords he knows he needs to be in his truth he knows he has to apologize or be in truth and he has to come forward to her and he doesn't look like he's real happy about it so he's sitting here and contemplating still spirit guide says you're not moving until you speak truth I'm surprised when we clarify this that they don't get a tower in here somewhere <laughs> but the moon energy in this last moon phase brought a lot of tears um, a lot of just uh, words were said or text messages were said or something that caused a tower to uh, there's two towers here while they're still standing here they probably I get the energy that there's a tower card coming um, but the path is um, lit and whether they both walk down this path together will is soon to be determined he feels like he wants to walk down that path with her but perhaps he didn't say something when he should have maybe that's what he has to come forward and speak he feels that she turned her back on this connection that she took what serves her and and moved on he feels that while she may still be watching the connection she's uh, uh, left it or walking away from it and that he's uh, still beside the connection he's still holding on to this connection he sees her as a page of sword and he's uh if he comes to her he's not sure if she's going to cut off his head or if she's going to snap because of whatever took place with this moon energy of communications the words that were said the misunderstanding the yeah misunderstandings words spoken something was illuminated that caused heartache so he sees that she's um, going to be defensive but he wants to come in he knows he wants to come in or has to come in with this raging bull with his truth you can see the masks up here swords up he wants to come in with this raging bull and speak his truth regarding this communication perhaps even tell the person the feminine his um what he thinks of the connection or his emotions or his feelings uh four of wands he knows that this is a stable connection he wants a uh, stable relationship or a partnership with her something stable that's going to last and make her an offer of some sort start by the chariot chariot moving forward with two people i hope So 
above the moon card and communication up here with the chariot. What's pushing this chariot to move forward already was a tower moment. Something happened communication-wise um, between the people that um, caused this tower moment and made the feminine put all the cards on the table or swords on the table and have the masculine pull back and be like, what? <laughs> So now he's like, no, come back. He knows that she's his star. She knows that he knows that she's the one that is leading her um, the, on this divine path to her. He's a ten of swords ending. He wants to repair the bridge or the stairs that were between the two of you to bring you two together again. He knows that she's the empress. Um, that she is. Um, he sees her as a goddess all lit up. She shines brightly and very spiritual with her spirit guides. And she even tames the snake, uh, the snake energy within him. Tames the snake, I don't know. <laughs> Judgment card was here um, on this communication. Again, you have somebody up here blowing a horn on this communication. And it caused judgment to take place with that for that tower to happen. But it's regarding his high priestess. The high priestess knows all lies behind, truth behind the lies. The dark, you can't have dark light without dark. And something to do with his five of wands. All these um, faces or masks he was wearing, perhaps, caught up with him, um, caught up with his spirit. And they, he had to look that in the mirror. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. What happened with the Nine of Swords? Okay. Something to do with the Emperor. Not real happy in his throne. Nine of Swords. Magician. The Emperor, okay, gotcha. So Nine of Swords here, he was feeling like he was getting tied down to this perhaps. Communication came in regarding it. It didn't go the way he thought it was going to go. Something happened um, that the building crashed, right? The tower fell down. But Spirit was here to give him a hand up and say, and pick him up, up out of this and throw him back into his throne of Emperor and say, you will be the Emperor to this connection. This was divinely guided long before he came and reincarnated to Earth. Um, he's even receiving the uh, lightning bolt here. Did we have that in the card somewhere? There's another card that has this lightning bolt. It looks like blood to me, like um, like a war took place. But he doesn't look exactly happy that he was just thrown from a tower moment, um, having all these you know nightmares with the spirits, and then gets dropped right into his throne. And you can see his face. Okay, but Spirit was showing him the arrow of ways per se, the devil energy, the masks he was wearing, perhaps lies, gossip, whatever, uh, whatever this masculine situation is, and it's a group, it's a collective, so it's more than one person, of course. But he, they have all the tools in them to. Uh, manifest this new beginning and to repair what is wrong. They are both um, very gifted healers um, and divinely chosen. They are the chosen ones, so they have what they need to manifest this new beginning. Ten of Swords in Reverse Spirit. Ten of Swords in Reverse. For the first sign. Coins. Eight of Coins. Um, so she felt like he was celebrating because this is what she's how she saw him. Um, she thought that that after that break that um, he'd be celebrating something that he wanted perhaps um, because of the women on his other women on his mind. This is a woman in a bikini up here in the cloud, um, and he's dancing like he's celebrating, like he got away with something. But justice came in and is dragging away the carcasses 
of the dead that no longer serve them. And he was trying to heal. He needed something stable. But the forest towers, even when he rested, he felt like he was being haunted by his past, by the things that he'd said, the masks he had worn. And with the Ace of Wands, have two of coins trying to balance this out, weed out the weeds that are on mess. They planted seeds in the wrong place and he, they chose wrong, basically, starts correcting this ill decision regarding a three party situation. Yeah, three of coins, three of cups with these three people, and something stinks here. Something is uh, not right. Someone was being some, pretending to be something that they weren't. Passing judgment. Someone was trying to be judge and jury. Rocks were thrown. Um, but something stinks here because there's like this little skunk thing in the middle. Some, something stinks about it. I don't know. All right. Let's clarify King of Swords. Oh, back up. Spirit, give us what the night, the message the Knight of Wands is bringing. What's this Knight of Wands message coming in? What message is the Knight of Wands bringing and will he be in his truth? What message does the Knight of Wands come in where he does want to speak his truth? Let's try again. What message is he bringing in and will it be the truth? I think this one. The sun cards here with communication regarding the three party situation. The eagle's flying above the storm, trying to avoid the storm. But he's shoot the king of swords shooting high for the storm. The communication he brings in, he wants to bring these two together to fill the, the gap that divided the two of you. But will be in this two? What message is he coming in with? Come on, spill the tea, spirit, spill the tea. Ace of Swords coming in, in his truth, aiming high to the stars and hoping for a, a positive outcome. When he speaks his truth, he's hoping um, that this truth will still bring them together and that they will have something to celebrate. Because he's had to look himself in the mirror and he didn't like see what he liked. Didn't, didn't like what he's seen. <laughs> Sorry. King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords coming into this truth. How the masculine feels about the feminine. Yeah, he's willing to take that leap up by forward for the king. He's going to be that king of swords and speak his truth. Um, regarding this offer, he's willing to be that fool and take that leap of faith. Moon card, clarify the moon card. The king of wands, king of communication. Something's coming in. Well, we know the birds coming in, the hawks coming in with communication and the truth about well, it's coming soon. Spirit says this is the page of coins, the page of drums. But with this, um, he always reminds me like, and he's on solid uh, sidewalk, rock sidewalk. So his uh, what he, the message he brings is solid. What he's going to offer is solid. Okay, but he's coming in like the drum roll, like. Um, the first person in the parade, so you, since it's Thanksgiving, we have praise on our minds, right? So you have the parade coming before Santa, and this is him doing the drum roll before the parade comes, and you know Santa's going to be at the end. So this is him coming in on the solid foundation, knowing that that message he's bringing is, is coming soon. That's a weird analogy, I know, but... There is a clarification for Seven of Swords. 
Ooh, Ace of Cups coming in. Somebody's coming in with communication for you. If you're with an Earth sign. You've got the Two of Cups. Again, equal reciprocity of love and affection. And he's offering his Ace of Cups. He's already filled his cup. You've filled yours. It's a High Priestess, of course. And he's offering to pour those two cups together in one cup to share. Clarify the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. How the natural is the feminine. Like she's one. Okay. So I see that uh, the feminine with this is defensive, and recently she walked away or turned her back on the connection because there was, while she was looking at the dragonflies, she realized there were moths about them eating away at the core of the connection. There was something else, lies, deceit, eating away at this, and it caused heartbreak and um, tears and emotion on both sides because there's waterfall coming out of the statue on both sides um, like tears. Six of Queens, they both wanted equal give and take. They were trying to manifest this equal give and take. And he knows that she is transformed and she's a change. She's blossomed even into more than what she was before when he first fell in love with her. Uh, this is um, out of the caterpillar. They rotted and grew wings and turned into this beautiful butterfly. And now it's just glowing and transcended, right? A rebirth of the soul even. And then you have the average um, earthling here that just are in the shadows and they look like zombies compared to her how bright she is shining so he feels that she's changed and is afraid that if she's changed and then regarding this communication error not sure that she'll accept his offer so he's come raging in on a bull and look at his face very determined <laughs> he's like nobody's getting my butterfly <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> four of Cups, again, this is, the Four of Cups is sometimes about choices, but in this one it's healing. Healing has been taking place and Spirit has shown him now the many masks he wore, but also the, that he is a healer and he needs to heal this elder. Um, so Spirit is speaking to him with this Four of Cups to um, how to speak and listen to his intuition, his higher self. He's teaching him that he is a healer. He has healing hands and to heal the situation at hand. Wheel of Fortune is here to turn forward regarding this connection. Spirit is Eight of Swords. And this one is where he's had the death and rebirth of his soul and Spirit's carrying him out of uh, this situation for a rebirth with this situation. So he's had a rebirth and now the chariot and he's thrown him from this into that chariot up here. So the chariot's here again. See so, you how he's thrown him from the sky from spirit land, so to speak, uh, into the chariot. And who? The King of Cups regarding this Orborn's connection. Anything else regarding the Earth sign? Anything else they need to know or hear? Anything else? No? No more tea? Come on. There's been heartbreak, but we already knew that. Okay. Some of you, and I don't know who this is for out there, um, I just got that some of you, this the buffalo is a new person. You see how these two cards emulate each other, almost mirror one another, different animal, but the spots and the color around them. Uh, she's got a yellowish green and he's got a gr yellowish green. So these two are the 
divine couple mirroring one another here in this connection, but the um, pink one might be a soulmate coming in that for that one person. I maybe one or two of you, but I'm getting that it's like one of you that has a different soulmate that's going to come in between you. Thank you, Spirit. But it's a test. So your spirit guides are telling you it's a test to see how dedicated you are going to be to this connection. There you go. <laughs> how perfect. Trust your path, though. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? What choice are you going to make if that's a soulmate and not your divine masculine? And again, with the tower, this will crumble. This is the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? And you don't have to cling on to it. Let it be. Just let it go. And it will come to fruition. Also, if it's toxic and they're um, causing your vibration to come down, then know that by pulling away, they need to heal before they can come back at you. All right, Starcy, what lights you up? What raises your vibration? Share your voice. Share what you know of your connection. Come out of the cave. Persecution and expression. And the last one is answer the call. You've been call, called upon for your soul purpose. What is your soul calling you to do? So that is what I have for you, Earth Signs. I hope you have a blessed day. Namaste.